Hello, in today's video, I'm going to talk about how to deploy your MongoDB database in a local network so computers on a local network can access this database. Um, first, uh, you need to uh, create a assigned static IP address to your server on your local network. Uh, there's a video um, I showed how to access a router and assign static uh, IP address. Once your uh, computer, the server computer, has a static IP address, you can add it to the host. Uh, there's a very short video, like two minutes video. You can uh, assign a name to that computer, uh, uh, which is uh, I can show very quickly. Uh, cat and say host. You can see this computer at this fixed IP address. I have assigned a name, Ryzen 3600X desktop. So once your server has a static IP and then you assign a name to that server, so you don't have to type the 192.168, that kind of number which is hard to memorize, then you can um, edit your configuration file of, the, of your MongoDB. So cat adc mongod.conf. And you need to edit two things. One is uncommon security and security authorization enabled. And then you need to change this bind IP from 127 to 0000. 000, 000, 000. Um, you allow any computer to connect to this database. So these are two edits. Then you use Mongo uh, to access the MongoDB server and type in some code. I will show this screen. So the code you want to type in first is use admin, use this admin database and db create user, username, password, and uh, you can create multiple rows. Please refer to MongoDB's documentation. Each database can have a different row. Here, when you use admin database and you create a root, row which means the user is a super user he can do anything and then you need to restart your mongodb under linux it's um, system control system control restart mongod at uh, mongodemon and then you can just uh, use the mongo to access mongodb then you can use a uh, db auth and with your username and password to do the authentication yeah so that's basically the steps. Uh, next time you, uh, after you create this user, uh, you can just access your MongoDB with the prompt for authentication. 